welcome to London. I'm Stephanie and I'm here to bring you guys at home the latest fashion news from the biggest fashion capitals in the entire world. Now I'm currently in the heart of fashion. I'm in Shoreditch. Behind me is Shoreditch High Street Station and we're here to go to the home of Cute Circuit. I'm going to be interviewing the owner and finding out all about the amazing use of technology with fashion. It's something that's never been seen before. They're definitely the first within this market to give it a go and I could not be more excited to see what they've got in store for us. My name is Francesca Rosella and I am Chief Creative Director of Cute Circuit. Cute Circuit is the first fashion brand that creates interactive fashion. Interactive fashion is beautiful looking fashionable garments that have some micro technology built into it that can make it do magical things. The garments can communicate over distance, they can change color, they can be controlled from your iPhone, so they're really interactive. Many years ago, I was a normal fashion designer and one of my first jobs out of school was a Valentino. <laughs> so I really love haute couture and I really love designing evening gowns. And, uh, and then I had many other jobs and I was designing accessories as well. And uh, then back in 2001, I just, had, I just kept having these ideas about making garments that could do a little bit more than just look pretty. And I really wanted to make garments that could communicate. And so I read this article about a research institute that was all about interaction design. And that was all about how to use new technologies to create experiences. And there I met Ryan, that is my co-founder. Why is Kid Circuit in London? Well, because London is a fantastic place for merging fashion and technology. Because there is a really amazing understanding of design and the role of designers in society. But then there is also a really good understanding of technology and technology development. And there are many startups in London. So it was the perfect place, especially for an Italian and an American, to meet halfway and start a company because there is so much support and the press really understands also what we're doing. So it was really fantastic and people here are willing to experiment with fashion. And so it makes you feel more uh, freedom to create something new. We were trying to invent new technologies. So if something didn't exist and we really wanted to make something happen, then we were given like a sort of a, a knowledge that allows us to come up with a new technology from scratch and then be able to communicate with an engineer or a software programmer so that we can actually really explain our idea in detail and be able to make it happen. So one of my favorite pieces is the hug shirt that is a t-shirt that lets you send hugs over distance. So if you're here in London and your best friend is in Paris and you want to send her a hug, you put on the hug shirt, you give yourself a squeeze and sensors in the fabric capture where you're touching, how strong and how long. And all this data goes Bluetooth into your phone and is transformed into a hug message and your friend on the opposite side of the world can receive this message and their shirt is gonna get warm and vibrate in the same area that you touched on your shirt. So it's a true touch telecommunication device that didn't exist before because you could just send a text message or make a phone call but communicating through touch makes people really, really happy. Well, getting the technology into the garments, like it was really, really hard in the beginning. When we started 10 years ago, none of the materials that we use today existed. And so we had to invent new materials. For example, the first garments we created were sort of more self-contained systems. So maybe a garment would light up or change color and it would just do it on its own. And instead today we create garments that are connected. Basically you can control the color of your dress through your iPhone. Or your friends can control the color of your dress using the same app on their iPhone. So you can communicate again over distance with your friends in a playful manner. And uh, of course to develop this system it, we need to do a lot of development in what is also not only the design of the garment itself and creating this magic fabric, <laughs> we call it magic fabric, the fabric that can change color and light up, but we also had to develop an app and, and just make sure everything would work and uh, be connected. So we dressed Katy Perry many times and um, one of the latest things that she has worn is the eye miniskirt and basically it's this miniskirt that can change color and uh, when she sang Roar at the Eisen's Festival in London uh, we spent five hours looking for tigers <laughs> online because we were really trying to find a tiger that was sort of in the forest winking at you. So basically the skirt is playing 25 frames per second video 
of this beautiful tiger that winks at you. So every time Katie sang and the eye of the tiger, this video would come out from her skirt and it looks really beautiful. Like even from a distance, it's sort of like creating a display. It looks really smooth and really lovely. And I mean, it's really realistic. So you can have like little sparkling patterns and like little abstract patterns, but then you can have something really detailed, like a moving image. I've had the most amazing afternoon with Cute Circuit here in East London. The fact that you can create the pattern, the colour, the style of your garment through your iPhone is completely mind-blowing and it just goes to show that the, the possibilities are just endless in terms of um, different design. I am definitely converted. And if it's good enough for Katy Perry, it certainly is good enough for me. But sadly, that's all I've got time for today. You can catch me next time for more amazing fashion news straight from London. And if you know of a really hot, cool, different, quirky fashion brand or something you would like to see on the network, do get in touch with me because we would love to hear from you. But until next time, I'll see you later.